Hello learners. In this online session, today we are going to discuss about tools for internal publics. There are various public relations tools that we use for internal publics. So uh, I know that in previous lessons you must have learned about history and evolution of public relations. Uh, corporate houses and governments have to communicate to their target publics by formal or informal means of communication. Uh, communication may be about uh, products, services, ideas, policies and social welfare programs. For different publics, you have to use different channels of communication. Uh, I think you must have listened to a speech by some famous leader. Uh, you must have noticed that uh, language for radio and TV commercials, uh, how it is different from language of print media. Uh, you must have observed a large neon displays in shopping malls. Uh, have you ever read uh, small pamphlets of papers with newspapers? In fact, all these are the various methods to communicate to the target publics. So in this lesson, you'll be learning about tools to reach out to different types of publics. And the objectives of this lessons are to understand the concept of public relations tools, uh, identifying the tools to be used for different publics, analyzing internal and external communication, and we'll be gauging the importance of PR tools, and we'll be knowing the significance of various PR techniques. So first of all, uh, I'll be talking about target audience. Uh, you already know the role of public relations in today's uh, corporate, political, economic and social world. Uh, main objectives of uh, public relations are to seek attention, mutual understanding, create goodwill and win publics. But how is it done? We need to understand. As we know that public relations practitioners have to communicate to different types of publics and different types of messages are to be communicated to the diverse publics. For example, if a politician wants to reach out to its uh, potential voters, he'll either organize a rally or use radio or TV or newspapers to appeal to the target publics. Take another example, uh, if any NGO which wants to raise funds for the poor children, uh, the effective route to reach to target audience to get funds is publicity. Uh, they may organize a charity event to raise finances or can create the online platform. To achieve this objective, they will have to create goodwill amongst target publics. Target publics are the intended publics which are going to affect a corporate house, a celebrity or a political party, directly or indirectly. So maintaining a level of mutual understanding with target public is necessary for the smooth functioning of corporate houses or government. To reach out publics, different methods or you can say tools uh, are used for public relations. For example, a news story in newspaper or a film about the NGO, it can be used to publicize the event and goals to be achieved by NGO. So after understanding the target audience, now categorize the types of publics and ways to reach them. First of all, we'll be talking about internal publics. For any organization, internal public is the group of people working for the organization or they play an important role in the growth of that organization. The employees, suppliers, shareholders of a corporate house are their internal publics. For example, in case of educational institution, students and teachers are internal publics. No organization can be successful without maintaining good relations with internal publics. To maintain the level of mutual understanding, communication plays a very important role and reach out to internal publics. So there are various tools which can be used to reach out to uh, internal publics. So first of all, uh, we'll be discussing about house journals. Uh, when you were studying in the school, uh, you must have contributed to the school magazine. So the magazine used to carry news items of school, creative pieces written by teachers and students and achievements of students and teachers. So target audience of the school magazines are students and teachers. That is, they are internal publics of school. In the same way, 
corporate houses use house journals as a tool to communicate to internal publics so house journals may be used for external communication as well so there is a possibility that same house journal may be carried out for external as well as internal public main objective of the house journal is to provide a platform for exchange of communication so it acts as a link between internal publics and management in today's scenario when corporations are expanding globally a house journal acts as a link amongst employees serving in different countries the content of the house journal may vary from uh, for different publics secondly its form and designing also depends upon organizations philosophy and needs thirdly the amounts of funds available for the publication are also an important factor to decide upon the quality of paper and printing so generally pr department or public relations manager is the editor of the house journal but the editorial policy is decided by management of the corporate house the organizations which are conservative in nature may have a house journal which is a tool of one way communication but liberal organizations will uh, have house journal as a channel of two way communication another important aspect of house journal is distribution uh, your school magazine used to be distributed in your classroom by teachers or teaching assistants in earlier times organizations used to get copies of house journals printed and afterwards got distributed to employees by hand or to external publics by post but in present scenario uh, printing and distribution both are expensive and time consuming whereas electronic distribution is comparatively inexpensive and it's easy to be distributed and that to within a few seconds to innumerable number of people that is why e house journals are becoming very very popular nowadays the second tool of uh, uh, communicating to internal publics is a bulletin board uh, although uh, information distribution through electronic means is very very popular uh, these days a bulletin board installed in common area can become an important tool of communication uh, these can be near food courts cafeteria reception and other places where employees gather frequently the dimensions of board may be rectangular or square in shape the styles of board may be simple or fancy the important messages from management can be conveyed by displaying on notice boards public relations department of the organizations they design relevant messages um, and fix them on bulletin boards with pins so to interact with the employees on important issues bulletin boards are very very important too the issues which are of larger interest of the employees like organization changed policies celebrations events or human resource schemes these are informed through notices or circulars on bulletin boards even achievements of the employees can be publicized through bulletin boards the location of bulletin boards becomes very very important place of conversation employees exchange their viewpoints on important issues and at times lot of information is collected by management through such conversations it may lead to good relations between employee employee and employer employee the number of bulletin boards to be installed may vary from organization to organization you may have separate bulletin boards for human resource department corporate communication finance sales uh, you may have theme based bulletin boards like seasonal theme to look fresh boards corporate colors can be used to decorate them uh, one of the most important advantage of bulletin boards is the that emails have to be kept in ready to later later settings when you have a busy work schedule and we may forget but information punched on an eye catching bulletin board may become an agenda of discussion amongst employees if used tactfully by management the another important tool that we use to communicate to internal public is newsletter in any organization a newsletter is a means of news 
activities and messages to be conveyed to employees. It may be printed paper or e-version of the uh, account of important events of organization, uh, which is designed for a fixed time frame. Generally, content of a newsletter is according to the management's policy on different issues pertaining to the organization. A newsletter may be delivered to external publics if the content is somewhat intended to their interest. While designing a newsletter, theme colors of organizations are used to maintain its corporate identity but it may be twofold, threefold, or multifold or stapled. So, while newsletter may be very important tool, designing is an important issue and what kind of news to be distributed to the internal and external publics that is very important to understand. It depends upon the organization's policy. What does it want to communicate to the target audience? It may be achievements of the employees. It may be, you know, a communication to the external people. It may be about policies of the organization. Anything. It may be uh, part of your, you know, creative campaigns also new kinds of products also so it depends upon the management what does it want to convey otherwise uh, if it is not designed properly if news value is not understood properly by designing team and editorial team uh, it can kill the effort by the management instead of uh, um, being a, an important tool of communication it may spoil the reputation it may tarnish the reputation and image of the organization if number of pages are increased so nowadays when printing and distribution costs are increasing most of the organizations create e-newsletters for internal publics and printed newsletters for the distribution in external publics another important tool uh, to communicate to internal publics is email I want to know, learner, uh, you must uh, uh, remembering the postman in khaki uniform distributing the letters and parcels. But with the advent of internet and inexpensive technology, electronic mail is becoming very popular in employers and employees and postmen are mostly delivering registered letters on receivers. So email is an instant means of communication as message can be sent to many people in single click and feedback can be received immediately. So main advantage of email is the uh, permanency of record. Whenever required, one can refer back to the message and may show to the receiver in the form of trail mail. With easy accessibility of internet over smartphones and reducing prices of phone and internet, it has made this tool very, very user friendly. Email is popular for communication with both external as well as internal publics. Uh, another important tool is face-to-face uh, -face communication. I think uh, no other tool can replace this tool of communication. The most effective form of communication is interpersonal communication and group communication. And uh, the biggest advantage is its instant feedback. In face-to-face -face communication, uh, we ensure that there should be such situation where management communicates uh, with the employees, like meetings, discussions with employees, interpersonal communication in informal settings, it boosts uh, employee morale. Uh, all, us, all of us, we know that interpersonal communication is an important and effective means of communication. No means of communication can replace this interpersonal communication. When we are sitting in front of others, because we get instant feedback, we can change our style of speaking, we can change the tone, the kind of tone, the kind of aggressiveness or politeness we want to show to our employees on different occasions it can be used. And when you talk to your employees at personal level, when you listen to their personal problems, when you try to empathize with them, it becomes very very important for the employees to work with the organization that considers them an important part that considers them an integral part of the organization and their morale gets boost over a period of time and now most of the time managements understand this tool they use it in a democratic way uh, it shows that the organization is very democratic and decentralized in its functioning when you talk to employees at length about their issues and try to resolve them 
another important tool of communication to the internal public is a show floor discussion. Uh, to have fair feedback on important issues, management may organize show floor discussions with employees. It's a means of interpersonal or group communication, therefore most effective tool. Uh, although show floor discussion can't be held very, very frequently, but yet it proves very effective when feasible. Main advantage of this tool is that staff members can express their opinions on issues to be handled on day-to-day -day basis and management can have views of those employees with which management can't have regular interaction through meetings. Secondly, employees' morale is boost when top management communicates with them in face-to-face -face situation. Uh, another important tool that is minutes of meeting. Minutes of meeting are important record for any organization. To make changes in structure and functions of various departments and policy formulation, product service launch or to organize events or any other major or minor decisions. Corporate houses and various government departments, they conduct various meetings. For example, if you are having uh, an event in your organization, and you need to plan it. You have to prepare its activity chart. You have to assign various responsibilities to the employees, what all they'll be doing on different occasions, at what point of time they'll be delivering the duties. So when you'll be having these minutes of meeting in the hand, you'll be re referring back them for your future reference. You can ask, you can take action taken report on those minutes what all they have done, what all hasn't been finished and why it hasn't been done. Everything can be recorded in minutes of meeting. So not only it can be used as future reference, but also it can help employees to understand the loopholes of the process, who has done really performed his responsibility on time that can be seen. In fact, minutes of meeting can be used at the time of appraisal also. At the time of appraisal, you can see what deadlines, which employees they have met or not. So minutes of meeting is an important tool to communicate to the internal public. Till years, we can use this tool. Decision taken or uh, agenda discussed in the meetings are kept as record for future reference. These records are known as minutes of meeting. These minutes play an important role in smooth functioning of the organization. So previous minutes of meetings can be referred to check the progress in decision making. Another tool that we use for internal public is uh, closed circuit TV. Uh, now, uh, learners, all of you know that uh, digital technologies are considered as an important part of routine functioning of any modern organization. As we are moving towards high-tech society, companies are expanding their base all over the world. It becomes very difficult for the management to keep check and interact with them without wasting their time together at one place. Closed circuit TVs prove very effective and inexpensive. So CCTVs uh, are kept on generally reception area of the organization. These can be used to publicize the philosophy of the organization through corporate films. Another important tool that we use for communication uh, that is celebrating festivals. Uh, in India, um, where diversity is a significant part of the culture, we celebrate our festivals together. Uh, in fact, metropolitan cities are becoming the symbol of modern mini India, where people from all parts, parts of the India, they live and work together. In such cosmopolitan scenario, taking care of employees' traditions and cultural values is an important tool for any organization to take care of employees. In recent times, companies have understood the value of celebrations. Thus, religious and national festivals are in India where hundreds of festivals are celebrated every year. In such a country with rich diversity, festivals are very important. Like most of the organizations, they celebrate New Year, Holi, Diwali, nowadays Christmas also. Uh, there are organizations, when they celebrate these festivals, they assign responsibilities to the employees, they organize various competitions and 
uh, in fact these celebrations these rejuvenate the employees uh, not only shows the goodwill gestured towards employees but also it creates a family atmosphere a homely atmosphere for the employees they get to do so many things and their talent also comes out during these festivals so all the employees with the managements when they are together having fun uh, it becomes an important tool for the organization celebrated by management with its employees as a goodwill gesture one of the most effective tool that we use for branding and for internal publics is speech the chief executive officer or managing director may position himself as a leader of the industry by articulating in a well written speech getting his speech published in the newspapers or magazines or broadcast on radio proves to be beneficial in the image building of ceo famous leaders like mahatma gandhi pandit jawahar lal nehru indira gandhi or our present prime minister mr narendra modi they are known for their speeches who can forget the famous speech by steve jobs at the launch of first sleekest phone by apple during freedom struggle various revolutionaries they used their speeches as tool to convince to persuade to target publics about their deeds when management it uses this tool properly it can be very effective tool because when you listen to great orators they really motivate you they persuade you they convince you to do your work properly and these speeches later on they may be compiled in the form of books also there are uh, good orators those who have used their speeches there are speeches by various leaders various ceos and mds of the companies which have been compiled by various organizations and they have been distributed to the uh, employees to understand vision and mission of the organization employees always want to listen to the top officers if they are good articulators another important tool that we use to communicate to the internal publics is visits by management informal visits by management to the employees workstations is an important technique of interpersonal communication meeting employees personally gives a chance to the top officials to understand employees in a better way these informal interactions boosts the morale of the employees employees problems ideas suggestions reach to the top management without filtration and adulteration and in today's scenario this is considered as one of the most effective tool to communicate to employees Uh, another tool that we use to communicate to the internal public is fun days people rarely succeed unless they have fun in what they are doing this famous quote by dale carnegie is very much applicable in today's scenario as all of us are living in a stressful life due to work pressure increased commutation time on roads more ambitious and aspirations in life corporate houses plan a few fun days every year fun days may vary from organization to organization it may be in the form of cultural festivals sports activities picnics movie watching birthday celebrations or company's annual days fun days rejuvenate the employees and their work performance increases not only uh these occasions birthday celebrations or companies annual days etc companies uh, organize various excursion trips for the employees they may be taken to various hill stations or uh, there are organizations they send their employees abroad for holidays as a part of the incentive there may be variety of fun days in the organizations celebrating festivals and sports activities like annual sports day having various activities for males various activities for female employees having a unique type of games indoor games outdoor games these may prove 
very very fruitful for the organization to rejuvenate the employees so that their work performance increases and they feel happy and at at the end of the day they work in the organization like their own organization then they own up the organization uh, i hope now all of us we have understood various methods to reach out to our internal publics being a pr practitioner it is our decision to choose the most appropriate tool of communication to convey our important policies issues and products to target publics although the decision primarily depends upon the media available for the publics yet peer practitioners should be wise enough to use the techniques at their optimal level to reach internal publics uh, house journals bulletin boards newsletter email face to face communication shop floor discussions meetings a closed circuit tv celebrating festivals speech visit by management fundraise etc all these things can be used thank you